so our next result is the set n cross n is denumerable denumerable means countably infinite so we have to prove that n cross n the cartesian product of set of all natural numbers and the set of all natural numbers is countably infinite first let us look on to the elements of n cross n the elements of n cross n are of the form 1 1 1 2 2 1 1 3 2 2 3 1 etc all of them are ordered pairs in general the elements of n cross n are of the form ordered pair mn where m comma n are natural numbers so in order to prove that this set is denumerable it is enough to prove that there exists a bijection from the set of all natural numbers onto this this set it is not an easy task to define a bijection from this in other words as I have already told you, it is enough to define or it is enough to arrange all the elements of n cross n on a particular order. Then also, it means that the set of all elements of n cross n are countably infinite. So, that is what we are trying to prove so we are actually trying to arrange all the elements of n cross n in some particular order and then we try to define an explicit function which becomes a bijection from the set of all natural numbers onto n cross n for that take the elements and arrange in this form the first row contains only the element ordered pair 1 1 the second row contains the ordered pair 1 2 and 2 1 the third row contains ordered pair 1 3 2 2 3 1 and the fourth row contains ordered pair 1 4 2 3 3 2 4 1 and so on so the next thing is can you observe a pattern from this there are four important points which we can observe from this pattern of arrangement the first one is the element mn should belongs to the m plus n minus 1 to go The element 1 1 is in the first row, which is 1 plus 1 minus 1 to go. The element 1 2 2 1 is in the second row. If we sum the elements in the second row, we get the answer 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. If we sum the elements in the third row, which means only the pairs, we get always the answer as 4 and all the elements is in the 4 minus 1 which is the third row and if we sum the elements corresponding elements in the ordered pair in the fourth row we get the answer as 5 so all the elements in the fourth row has a sum 5 so in general the element m comma n should belongs to the m plus n minus 1 to go. This is what the first observation. And the second observation is the first row contains exactly one element. The second row contains exactly two element. The third row contains exactly three element. The fourth row contains exactly four elements and so on. So in general 
the kth row contains exactly k elements. This is the second observation. And this is the one which I was talking about as the first observation. The element mn belongs to the m plus n minus 1th row. Okay. And the next observation is, if we take the first element in the second row, its first entry is 1. And if we take the second element in the second row, its first entry is 2. And if we take the first element in the third row, the first entry is 1. And if we take the second element in the third row, the first entry is 2. And if we take the third element in the third row, the first part is 3. So, we can continue by our arrangement. We can observe that in a particular row, a particular positions, a particular element which positioned on a on a position whose the first entry is. In other words, the element Mn is placed in M plus N minus 1 to row and which is placed as the mth element in the M plus N minus 1 to row. Observe that pattern in the fourth row. The element 1, 4 is placed in the fourth row and which is the first element in the fourth row. The element 2, 3 is placed in the fourth row which is the second element in the fourth row. The element 3, 2 is placed in the fourth row which is the third element in the fourth row. The element 4, 1 is placed on the fourth row which is the fourth element in the fourth row. So in general, we can observe a pattern that the element mn is in m plus n minus 1 to row and which is positioned as the mth element in the m plus n minus 1 to row. This is our third observation. Now, another observation is in order to define a function from n cross n to n or vice versa, we have to assign a natural number for each of these elements. So, let's say we have to arrange the second element in the third row, which is 2, 2. Before arranging the second element in the third row, we have to arrange all the elements up to the second row. That is, we have to arrange the element 1, 1, 1, 2 and 2, 1 and also we have to arrange the element coming before 2, 2 in the third row. So, in order to arrange 2, 2, we first have to arrange 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 3. So, in other words, if we take another example, let's say, 3, 2, which is in the third row, fourth row. In order to arrange 3, 2, we first have to arrange x, the first element in the first row, the two elements in the second row, and three elements in the third row. Okay. So, which means we arrange six elements just above the fourth row. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. And then we have to arrange the element 1, 4 and 2, 3. Though, so the element 7 should be corresponding to 1, 4. And the element 2, 3 should be corresponding to 8. So the element which corresponds to 3, 2 should be the ninth natural number. Let's say, let's take another example which is 4, 2, which is in the 5th row. In order to arrange 4, 2, we first have to arrange all the elements just above the row, up until the just above the row, 
fourth row just above the fifth row sorry so we have to arrange one element in the first row the two elements in the second row the th three elements in the third row the fourth element in the fourth row then arrange the element 1 5 2 4 3 3 in the fifth row then only we can arrange the element 4 2 or we can assign a natural number onto 4 2 so we have to arrange 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is 10 so first 10 natural numbers is assigned to the numbers from first for all the numbers from the first fourth row then we have to arrange the three elements which coming before the element 4 2 in the fifth row so 10 plus 3 becomes 13 so the element which correspond to 4 2 is 14 so observe that if we continue like this the element mn belongs to m plus n minus 1th row in order to arrange the element mn we have to arrange all the elements up to the row just above the row which belongs to mn the element mn belongs to m plus n minus 1th row so we have to arrange all the elements up to m plus n minus 2th row so the total number of elements up to the m plus n minus 2th row is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus m plus n minus 2 which is the sum of natural numbers up to m plus n minus 2. So by simple expression we can say that the answer is m plus n minus 2 into m plus n minus 2 plus 1 divided by 2 using the expression for the sum of first n natural numbers which is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So we have by expressing, by arranging all the elements up to m plus n minus 2 row, we have successfully completed that part. Then we have to observe that the element belongs to the nth position in the m plus n minus 1 row. So after arranging all these elements up until m plus n minus 2 row, we have to add m. Then only we get a natural number corresponding to mn. So, so what I am going to say is, in order to assign a natural number to the element mn, we have to arrange all the elements up to the m plus n minus 2 to row which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc m plus n minus 2 then if we add m to that number we get a natural number corresponding to the element mn so first we define a function psi which is psi of k is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc k it is for our convenience I am just following the textbook notation which is k into k plus 1 divided by 2 which is the sum of first k natural number. Then define a function h from n cross n to n. Every element in the set n cross n is of the form ordered pair mn. So h of mn should be as I have already told you we first have to arrange all the elements up to m plus n minus 2th row. So the number of elements up to m plus n minus 2th row is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc m plus n minus 2 which is psi of m plus n minus 2. Then we have we have the element mn is in the mth position of the m plus n minus 1th row. So we have to add m to that number. That is why we get h of mn as psi of m plus n minus 2 plus m. If we simplify this expression, you get an answer. And clearly, we have assigned exactly one number to each element in n cross n. For each element mn in the set 
n cos n, we have successfully arranged assigned a natural number. So, there exists a bijection from n cos n onto n or vice versa. Corresponding to every natural number, we have successfully defined a number in n cos n. So, there exists a bijection from n cos n to n, which means that the set n cos n is countably infinite, which implies it is denumerable or countable.